Treacle Jr. tells the story probably of like an unlikely alliance between two uh, quite different people. One uh, quite um, a guy who seems to have a guy like he would seem like he has everything, you know, like a house in the suburbs and probably a good job and. Uh, I can't, you know, wife and kids whom he, he leaves. I mean, it's a, as a kicking off point, it's like, you know, guy goes, says he's going to work and just goes to the train station, just never comes back, which happens a lot, you know. And what happens is he goes to London and uh, meets this other character who's a kind of polar opposite, if you like, in that he's somebody who has nothing or not much and is uh, very uh, optimistic and trusting of people and all of this, and that's how he gets by. I mean, we had talked about um, trying to make a film about an optimi you know, someone who's wildly optimistic. Was there always the intention after the, the lowdown that, you know, that went pretty well and one day we'll do something else together? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, to be honest, it's really, what's really strange is that uh, of all the actors I've worked with, Aiden's the only one I've become friends with. Um, I don't know why that is, <laughs> uh, but really good friends. And we just we just really got on straight away, and um, and uh, I think that um, we so I kind of got to know him really well, and uh, and we we talked about we'd always talked about doing another film together, and we'd always talked about this character, okay. and um, and I I thought if I was going to do another film, Game with Aiden, I think the first thing I thought we, we would do was this character. It's nice to know. <laughs> So where did that, that character come from originally? Because if you said it's a character you brought to him, what was it? Yeah, well that character is, is uh, loosely based, or more than a little loosely based maybe, on a guy that I know in <laughs> Dublin. A guy I've known since I was a kid. He was brought up and I've always been uh, kind of fascinated with him and um, with his uh, optimism. I mean, Jamie had some suggested a while back about trying to make a film about an optimistic character, someone who's wildly optimistic despite kind of seemingly everything being stacked against him. And that's the person I thought of. I'd shown him a documentary that was made about this a little while ago, and he kind of agreed. It's not him, but it's just his, you know, he does talk like that. He, you know, when, when we started talking about it at first, it was kind of, there was a point where it came, where we came to the decision has to be made whether to kind of be as kind of extreme. I mean, I don't know if that's extreme or not, but, mm -hmm. You know, I think yeah, people, so, are I think buy it's people are going to put up with it because it's annoying. Do you know what I mean? Well, that was the, that um, was what we were we were, we were worried. You know, on the page when people wrote the script, some people thought that the character might be annoying. And what was interesting from reactions from early on from audiences, some people did find him annoying, but it was the same. It seems had the same reaction as Tom did that they warmed to him and realised he was feeling at the same. Yeah, time, and I'm at almost at the same time as Tom right. warms to him. Mm. But it's not supposed to be a piss take of like you know people like that or whatever. I mean, I re I've always been kind of drawn to kind of people who are kind of pushed to the side or who are kind of considered to be kind of you know borderline mental cases or who nobody wants to know about. Uh, you know, I've always kind of um, uh, wanted to hang out with them. <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's more, it's more, it's just interesting and uh, or be them. Yeah. It was great, yeah. I mean, it's the kind of thing that the film festival always gives you a chance to see—a sort of, you know, low-budget British film um, that's kind of made without any outside interference. Um, it sort of shows, you know, the director's kind of true vision. So, yeah, it's uh, it's good to kind of have a unique opportunity to catch something like that. I knew um, it had a prize at a small French festival, so it kind of struck me. And uh, and uh, no, I. I was just um, expecting um, having a good time, really, and I did. Yeah, definitely. It's the kind of thing that I would go out with the film festival to see. Unfortunately, it's the kind of thing that you don't get that much of a chance out with the film festival to see. So, um, yeah, as I say, that's that's why that's one of the reasons that the film festival kind of helps these things kind of hopefully gain some legs and perhaps come back at a later date. And I would definitely, yeah, recommend it to people.